Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. In this video today, I will be talking about all the new features within the 0.19 update. Okay, the first thing that we will be showing off is the fact that there is no longer a launch tower. Yes, the launch tower has been completely removed and now the launch pad has been remodeled and it does look much, much more better. And I do remember the launch tower being in the way of my rockets and everything else so good thing that's gone as you can see the runway now has sloping edges so that you won't fall off the edge and smash your ship to pieces and the sloping edges continues all the way to the end to there so yeah and they've also added some sort of lights but these lights don't work in the dark and I will show you there we go. As you can see, it doesn't really do much at all. So, yeah. Next feature. The probe pods now have names written on them, so you can easily identify uh, what each one is called. The first part that we're going to check out is the Rove Mate. It has uh, electric storage capacity and it is intended to be the bottom part or the base of your aircraft or a surface rover. We now have the TRXL stack separator which has a decoupler force of 600 in comparison to the Rockamax brand decoupler that has 250 as a decoupler force. We now have several beams within the game. So the first one is a 650i beam. You can place it like so. We have the 200i beam, which is a very long beam. I think it's the longest beam that we do have. And then we have the 200i beam, which is a pocket edition. It's a smaller i beam in comparison to the 200i beam. And we have the not Rocker Max micro node. And you can place multiple beams or other objects on all four sides. On all sides, pretty much, actually. Yeah. So you can place an object there, another one there. That one doesn't work because it doesn't fit. So yeah, you keep you can keep on doing that. It doesn't seem like you can use symmetry on it, so that's another thing. So you have to manually place things as you go, just like I'm doing. So yep. Next, we now have two structural panels. We start off with the M one times one structural panel, which is a very small panel that there. This is mainly for rovers and then we have the larger panel right? and you can place that like that if you like or you can use something like that. Now I've placed these small gear bays here so we can compare with the new wheels. So first off we have the Rove Max Model 1 wheel and you can place it like such. Not really meant to place it like that. Okay I'll fix it up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah just place it like that or maybe just like that and I do believe uh, these are deflatable I am not 100% certain I'll test that out later on we have the Rove Max Model 2 wheels these are the much smaller ones for rovers mainly as you can see and they are pretty small compared to the small gear bays and then we have these beasts called Rove Max Model 3 and yeah these are some heavy duty wheels huh yeah, just look at the size difference. Wow. And it looks really, really cool. We now have the Z400 rechargeable battery that has an electric charge of 400. And you can place it just like that. Okay, so it is confirmed that these wheels here, the Rove Max Mode Model 1 will deflate and we just have to get our Kerbal out to fix that up. So I believe we can right click them and then repair wheel. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's got a boost there. Okay, repair wheel. Go to the other side. Repair wheel. Whoop. And the final, stop spinning. Repair wheel. What? Oh, deflated again. <laughs> repair wheel. Okay, now something's going wrong. Repair wheel. Okay, maybe I have to do it in midair. Repair wheel. Right click. Repair wheel. Repair. Oh, oh, thank you. Yes, got it. Okay, 
I don't know what's going on there. Well, that was exciting. Now, all the 0.18 crafts are still compatible with 0.19, so that's great. And right now I'm going to test out a supersonic flight because a few flight effects have been adjusted. Okay, now as you can see, there are some heat effects that we that's uh, popping up there. Okay, that now that looks cool. Let's put the nose down. Maintain our speed. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Supersonic flight. Oh yeah, the Kerbal expressions have been change as you can see on the bottom right hand corner Jebediah is smiling and he does look very happy okay as you can see we are re-entering the atmosphere I have the jet engines on and we are burning up oof that is hot <laughs> literally Okay, now to turn on the debug toolbar, all you have to do is press Alt F12 and this will pop up.